how's Hollywood? Have you settled in? The weather is perfect. I get my own trailer. They're already talking sequels and I get to do my own stunts. Sounds like you're having the time of your life. Oh, I miss you guys. What's the latest Bogmore gossip? Well, Leo finally got accepted into magic school. Well, it's about time. He was one trick away from burning down the castle. <laughs> and Rich is still coming up with interesting business ideas. Bogmore Castle, Europe's largest indoor chicken sanctuary. Want to have a look? Don't go in there. The chickens are crazy. You have that? <coughs> Rich is going to make the castle the number one tourist attraction in Northern Ireland. At the moment, it's still the number one tourist attraction in his overactive imagination. I can't wait. It means more humans to creep out. Esme, don't do that. It freaks me out. Win. And uh, I've been looking into the family tree. Guys, you should see this tree. There's a whole family of woodpeckers in here. Ah, oh, my head. Well, I mean... Hello, Rooney. How is my superstar cousin? Pretty good, Rich. Hey, oh, sorry, guys, I'm needed on set. I'll talk soon, I promise. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. My lady, 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 my lady. <clears throat> my lady. Oh, hey, Gabe, sorry. She's gone. Gone? So soon. We always seem to miss one another. There's so much I wanted to say. I'm sure you'll get to speak to her sooner or later, mate. Yes, sooner or later. It isn't like I'm going anywhere. Well, it's not right, because I've got just the thing to take mine off Danny. But I am completely over Danny. <laughs> Come on. You're going to mock it. What this time? Fire as I go. The place you want is through those woods. Across the swamp. Cool. A swamp? I'll be able to collect some specimens. I've really caught the herpetology bug. I'm sorry to hear that. Herpetology is the study of amphibians and reptiles. In that case, you're going to love Bogmore Swamp. Do you think there'll be leeches? Oh, I hate those guys. They give me the heebie leeches. If you're going to Bogmore Castle, leeches are the least of your worries. Oh! What's in this? My dragon. You're gonna fit right in. Guess what's in the box? The world's largest jack in the box. A maxed out 3D home cinema system with surround sound. Oh, something that sounds like a good idea at first, but is actually a total disaster. Well, you're all wrong. Particularly UK, nothing new there. In this box is a radio station. You've got an entire radio station in this one box. Is it a radio station for tiny little gnomes, Master Richard? Well, this is just the gear we need. I've got it all second-hand, cheap as. What do you reckon? Bogmore FM, 24-hour local news, spliced with some furious tunes. That's a wicked concept, cuz. Hold on. There's only a few of us. How are we going to run a 24-hour radio station? We'll record a couple of shows a day and repeat them on the loop. By your standards, it's actually not a bad idea. It could really put us on the map. See, I knew you'd come around to my genius eventually, Caitlin. Don't all stand around basking in the glow of my awesome, because we got a studio to set up. I meant that. Well, easy on the crumbs there, man versus food. You don't want to attract the mice. <laughs> hey, Diego, look at this. What do you think it is? It doesn't matter what you think it is. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a... Go oh, away, Roxy. I'm meditating. It's a microphone? It's a pencil. No, it's a microphone. Oh. Duh. Look at me, I'm a rock star. <laughs> la, 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 You're not a rock star, Roxy. You're an irritation. I'm trying to relax. Stop being such a grumpy old rat. This is how I relax. When will this nightmare end? Quite delicious. <laughs> For once, I have to agree. I love it. Well, plus it doubles into a recording studio, so we should get some bands in. We can get Jay-Z to bang out his next album here. Let's not get carried away. Indeed. Perhaps before we get to Jay-Z, we could start with playing old J-A. Or J-B. Can I my own radio show? 
Can I, Rich? Can I? Can oh, I? Sorry, Esme. This is a human station only. The plan is to attract visitors, not send them fleeing in terror. So, um, Jimmy, uh, you're the engineer, so I want you on tune duty. I'm gonna yeah. get my shake on. Go, Jimmy. Go, Jimmy. Uh, not cool. Not cool. All right, Kate. Uh, you're full of opinions. Why don't you be producer? Your first job is to assign the DJ. Oh. <clears throat> Rich, would you like to be the DJ? Yeah, I'd love to be the DJ. Uh, your second job is to tell the DJ how good looking he is. Don't push it. So what can I do? You can stay out of the way and not cause trouble. Why do you think I'm going to cause trouble? Do I really need to answer that? Stop treating me like a little kid. I've been stuck in this round just as long as you have. Esme, wait. <sighs> well, you better go after it. The last thing we need is another Esme rampage. Yeah. Not even Esme can ruin Bogmore, then. Look, guys, I've got a really good feeling about this. Ha <laughs> ha. Get the tunes on. Oh, oh, I love this one. Ah, here we go. I'm sorry I upset you. I know I've been rather melancholy of late. Ever since Danny left, you've been walking around the castle like a storm cloud in lacy cuffs. I am completely over Danny. Yeah, and I'm Scooby-Doo. What are you doing? Updating my blog. Ten reasons why you should never date a human. Reason number one. They turn you into a complete misery rough when they leave for Hollywood. You can't put my personal business online. Anyone could read it. You're always putting your personal business in those soppy love songs. My melodic compositions are for my ears only. I will not let you expose my tender feelings to the entire afternoon. Hey, give that back. No. You are not getting it back until you learn to respect others. What are you looking at? I know what I'm doing. I shall prove to you that I'm completely over Danny by writing an album of songs about how I'm completely over Danny. Frog. What should we call you then? Frog? Common Frog? Oh, come on, Dylan, think of a name. And that's it. Common. I'll call you Common. Come on, Common. Come and meet Trafford. Oh no. Trafford? Trafford? We've got a dragon on the loose, Common. If you were a dragon, where would you flee to? Yeah, you're right. Let's sort out the nearest source of warmth. This is Dr Rich, live on Bogmore FM. Now, I've got just the musical medicine for whatever your ears might need. This is a new one from Wiley. She looking in my eyes like I like this done. I want to know what side she's from. I see many girls, but I like this one. Told me she was a West Side lady. Had a few friends, but... Totally not what I expected. The other castles I've been to were way bounce here. The sun is shining, it's a lovely day here at Bogmore Castle. Now, what is everybody up to? Are you driving to work? Are you on your way to the spa? Are you on your way to get your hair cut? Well, I'm sitting here chilling in the castle. A bit of a... Nothing major, but there! Nothing major, we just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, we um, Trafford! There you are, boy. Who are you? Dylan. Oh, hi, Rich. Where did you come from? First of all, I was born at a very young age. Yes, and... skip to the end. The airport. Um, Rich, who is this? Kate, Jimmy, meet my brother Dylan. We have to do something about gay. Ah! Be very careful what you say about him. He's very sensitive. Whoa, what happened in here? He did. Oh, not another one! Stop doing that. Gay, okay, this is my brother Dylan. <gasps> Greetings, Master Dylan. Master Rich, would it be possible to use the studio to record some music? 
Well, I don't know if you can tell, Gabe, but the studio's wrecked. It's fine. Me and Jimmy will sort it. Well, what about the radio show? We can just uh, put a loop of our playlist on overnight. Chill your heels, treacle. Looks like you two have got some catching up to do. Didn't you get Mum and Dad's postcard? I got it. I just, you know, didn't read it exactly. But I've had the castle to get up and running. Big ideas to have. Now, my brain's already full of genius. I can only take in so much new information. Dear Rich, we're off on an expedition to the Amazon. We're sending you Dylan to look after until we get back. Whatever you do, don't let his bearded dragon get loose. Oops. Look, I've no disrespect, but this is the last thing I need. I can't be babysitting. I don't need babysitting. I promise I won't cause any more chaos. Look, it's late. You must be tired. Grab your popcorn. We don't want to track the mice, all right? You've got mice? Cool. There's another human. This place is overrun. What? But I love humans. I love how they're all pink and hairless and stuff. <laughs> they're so funny. <laughs> we should call in the exterminators. Nah. But more humans means more mess. And more mess means more food. And I know you love your food, Diego. <laughs> I also love peace and quiet. I mean, all humans seem to do is argue. Noisily. Well, all we ever do is argue. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. We do. Don't. Do. Do, 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 do. Don't, 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 Yes, we do. Look, we're arguing right now. How cool is that? <laughs> so easy to wind up. I thought I'd be sleeping with you. We used to have bunk beds. <laughs> Mate, sleep time's when I get my best ideas. And last time you shared a bunk bed, you kept me up all night jumping off the top. I was learning to fly. I thought if I had smaller and smaller parachutes every time I jumped, eventually I wouldn't need one. What about the ghosts? Gabe and his mate are harmless. And we haven't heard from the poltergeist in months. Poltergeist? Yeah, stuck down in the dungeon, but it's never going to come out. But anyway, listen. Night, bro. Now then, which one of these buttons will allow me to record my songs? Ah! Hello. This is Gabe. And this song is a sonnet for a rose called Danny. Oh, my lady Danny. Oh, Danny, Danny, oh, Danny. <laughs> noise to wake the dead. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? I was pretty blown away by that stunt you pulled earlier. Wrecking the studio. It was just too funny. Hey, where are you going? To go sleep with Rich. And no offence, but there's a ghost in my bedroom. Bogmore FM. It's better than silence. You're listening to Bogmore FM. More music, more chat, Rich, and more better. Are you asleep? Bro, you ever heard a knocking? I could have been in my boxers. Can I sleep with you tonight? My room's scary. Fine. You can have my bed. You know what I do, Becky? What? Sorry about the crumbs. I was eating a pork pie. Night, Rich. Morning. You look terrible. Thanks. Didn't get much sleep. Dylan. What are you humming? Oh, I... I don't know, I was listening to the Bogmore FM loop on the way here, so I must have read it on there. Doesn't sound like anything on our playlist. Must have read it somewhere else then. Meet you in the studio. Mm -hmm. Morning! Leave me alone. I'm sorry if you find me scary, but 
I'm not the one with a baby dragon. And I find that pretty scary. At least my dragon isn't dead. I never meant to die, Dylan. So, how did it happen? Me and Gabe caught a fever. And what about bearded dragons? Can they come back as ghosts? I don't know how it works. So, what can ghosts do? I can't touch anything that's living, but I can disappear and reappear within the castle, but I'm not allowed to leave the castle. I can fly, teleport, and move things with my mind. It's pretty cool. Can you smell things? Do you know other ghosts? What about Michael Jackson? Is he a ghost? Why are only some people ghosts? Do you miss using the toilet? I would. Be my friend and I'll teach you everything I know. Can you teach me how to teleport and walk through walls? Sure. You've got a deal. And do you want to know what else? Ghosts never get into trouble. <laughs> oh, morning, guys. We're all set to go. What is that song? I don't know, because it must have been on our playlist. That song's not on our playlist. I come to mention it. Well, uh, what's this doing in here? Ah! Lily Kitten, you find it. I must have left it in here last night. Um, Gabe, what were you doing in here last night? I was recording some songs for Danny. I'm going to make an album to send her. <sighs> I know my songs may be somewhat old-fashioned by your taste, but there is no Mate, night... everything you did last night went out live. Everything. You mean my songs are broadcast... To the entire village. But those songs are personal. For Danny's ears only. All right, keep your hair on, I'm coming. Ah! We love you! See? After everything that's gone wrong, they love me. It's a hit. Gib! No, 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 they're saying, um, goo. It must be the local sound for rich rocks. Gib, we love you! You must have thought that Gib's broadcast was a radio show. OK, so, on the plus side, we're a hit. And on the downside, all of our listeners want to meet the ghost. So, now what do we do? Is he here? He's my hero! You can do it. Just imagine yourself disappearing and reappearing somewhere else. OK, ready? And vanish. <laughs> it's no use. All I've done is give myself synchronous diaphragmatic flutters. Hiccups. OK, how about we try walking through doors? The key is to get a really good run up and then imagine the door isn't there. Ready? Three, two, one. It's even more of them now. We're under siege. Well, they're not going to leave till they get to meet Gabe. Would it really hurt to let them in? Mate, you're a ghost. They can't meet you. Unless... Oh, no. I know that face. I've had nightmares about that face. That's the face you pull when you thought of another crazy idea. One person's madness is another person's genius, Kate. Come on. <laughs> Dressing up as Gabe isn't going to work. What are you talking about? Whatever I do works. Look, I'll sign a few autographs, send them on their way, and then I can get along with my soon-to-be award-winning radio show. Ta -da. What do you think? Spectacular, Master Richard. You look like a true gentleman. Well, I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> Not saying a word. Listen, girls, Gabe will see you, but first, we need to establish some ground rules because this is not acceptable. <laughs> Calm you down, ladies. For it is I. DJ Gabriel. Ah! He's so gorgeous. I thought he'd be taller. He's starting to taller on the radio. He's still hot, though. Even in those weird clothes. We loved your songs. They were so sad and beautiful. Who's Danny? You must have really loved her. And what's a harmonium? What's a what? You said on the radio that some of your songs were playing the harmonium. Yeah, uh, I said it. That my harmonium thingy is what I writeth my songeth on. Verily. Uh, hey, nonny, nonny. Will you play us one of your songs? Uh, I would do, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm very tired and, you know, too much of that. We're not going until you play a song. 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 I cannot believe Master Richard is taking credit for my music. What just does he have, mate? You can't go in there. Imagine what would happen if they even caught a whiff that you were dead. You're right. I would cause chaos. If they don't hear one of my ballads, they're going to tear Pearl Master Richard apart. Wait, I know what to do. What are 
you doing? Looking for insects for Trafford. It's the only thing that encouraged that greedy girl to have his tank. What's in here? Dylan, wake up to the door to the cellar! But Richard, the cellar's where you keep up. Hold it, guys! You're on your own, sunshine. Ladies, ladies. I'm Jimmy Major. I'm Rich. I mean, Gabe's manager. And uh, my needs is rest, so... I'm gonna have to ask you to, uh, scrap. We are not leaving. Then I guess you don't want these free exclusive remixes of Gabe's best songs. I want those. Can we get them signed? One at a time, ladies. One at a time. Rich! Rich, save me! Why is he calling you Rich? I thought your name was Gabe. Um, well, that's right. It is Gabe. He's, um, he, he's calling me Rich because I'm totally loaded. I mean, how else do you think I'd afford this castle? He's rich too? I saw him first. No, you didn't. You have to do something. Pull, pull, pull. Oh no. What is that? Go. Fret not, Master Richard. I've got this. So many fans, I think Bogmore's gonna be a hit. Okay. You're a star. I am? How would you like your own radio show? But hang on. Shouldn't we discuss this first? I'm the producer, so it's my decision. Fine. It can go on the afternoon, but go only. Sounds fair. The spirit community will appreciate my unique outlook on the ghostly realm. If you're gonna broadcast it online, you're gonna need my laptop passcode. I have been hasty. I am sorry, sister. Yes. Now can we get on with the ghost power lessons? Ghost power lessons? Yeah. Esme's been teaching me how to walk through walls and stuff. But you can't teach ghost powers to a human, can you? So what if I bend the truth? Just a tiny bit. But you know what's just as good as having ghost powers? Having two meals so you can eat and talk at the same time. I'm starting to like this kid. No. Having a friend with ghost powers. Hang on. What are we all standing around for? We've got a show to prepare. <laughs> Humans are so noisy. Keep me down, you apes! Yeah, but if it wasn't for the humans dropping food, we'd have nothing to eat. Cheese? Peace at last. What do you think of our room, little man? Whoa, it's amazing! My geckos! Trafford! Bed. Oh, thanks, Rich. I miss our old chats too. I ain't been the same without you. Bags it up, bunk. Fine. Just don't let your dragon escape. No flying lessons this time, all right? Oh, bruv. Don't know, bruv me. I love jumping off things. It's dangerous. Dangerous my middle name. Your middle name is Aubrey. Shh. Don't broadcast it. Oh, talking of which, we've got a show to do. Come on. My special guest in the studio today is everybody's newest heartthrob, the man of the moment. He's old school. He's retro. He's Gabe. It's a pleasure, Master Rich. Dr. Rich, and reporting live from Hollywood, the girl of his dreams, Miss Danny herself. Hi, guys. Happy to be here. To kick off, we've got DJ Jimmy's freshest remix of Gabe's newest track, Sonnet for a Rose Called Danny. Oh, my lady, darling. Oh, darling. Yeah, very romantic. I did not sound like that when I wrote it. If you're over me, oh, my lady, darling. darling. I love thee, oh, I love 